Hello everyone, this is Blue Thunder Fan Racing, and this is the INRL Sony IndyCar Series. Today, we are at Watkins Glen for the New York Grand Prix. Last season, this was the race that opened up the season. This was the season opener in last season. This season, it's the 8th. It's round number 8. And we're looking to see some interesting stuff here. Might be a fuel mileage race, but we're just going to have to wait and see. On the pole, we have James Shelley in the number 24. He needs to gain some points, and starting on his outside is Sean Angel in the number three. Row number two, we have Gene Sanford and Alex DeMarco, who's starting to turn his season around. In the third row, we have Sam Young and Andrea Erickson in her second career start. In the third, in the uh, fourth row, we have Jasmine Acosta, Texas winner, and Connor Atwood making his second career start, just along with Erickson. And of course, he is Erickson's teammate. And right at the top 10, we have Inman J and Dylan Young. Now, here is the rest of the starting lineup. Forty-two drivers looking to take the green here at Watkins Glen. Who's going to take the win? We're going to be finding that out soon enough. Crazy two Ganassi's starting in the top ten here, though. Ganassi has had a miserable season. I would like to point out that the nine almost won this race last season so uh, Connor Atwood is in a good car that of course is a championship winning car to number nine green flag is out though we're rocking at New York and Shelly is not being able to hold on for the first corner he's already got a challenge Gene Sanford takes the lead Coming through those S bends, caution's already out, but that but we're gonna watch the leaders. Gene Sanford leading us down into the bus stop. Shelly's gonna want a piece of her, that's for sure. He wants to he wants to get the lead back. Oh, Acosta's making a little contact with him and Jay there. No wreck. Oh man, Car Sam Young really slid up there. He's a he's a championship contender. Gene Gene Sanford leads us to the caution. Oh, C Taylor Costa, points leader, involved in the first caution. Oh, this could be pretty bad. Hayden Klein also involved, another title contender. Two championship contenders involved in our, involved in the first wreck of the day. Let's go and take a look at what happened. Classic type of incident here at Watkins Glen. Acosta gets it in the 67 off the first corner, then gonna get in the hidden climb and into this tire wall. That's gonna be some heavy damage onto the 20 car. What a tough break for the points leader. She was having such a such a she was having a string of good races going, but I think that's all over now. That's that's some heavy damage on the 20 car. Hidden Klein, tough break for him as well. And look at that. Costa's teammate Kyle Sanoski gets a piece. James Qualls, he gets involved. This is only his second career start. Veteran in the other series, but this is the only series he's racing in in season two. But uh Well, good to see him back, but anyway, let's get back to the green. We're going back to green on lap number four of 14. Taylor Costa is out of the race. 
she's going to finish 42nd. To say the least, I think after doing so well on these past few races, I think her points lead is going. I think all the effort to get that points lead is going to be all for naught. I think she's going to lose the point lead of that 42nd. But anyway, Gene Sanford is the leader. Second is James Shelley. Third, Alex DeMarco. Fourth, Sam Young. Fifth, Inman J. Sixth, Jasmine Acosta. Seventh, Dylan Young. Eighth, Tristan Wilhoyt. Ninth, Daniel Smith. And tenth is Leia Walker. Eleventh, Tyler Young. Twelfth, Skyla Johnson. Thirteenth, Brian Acosta. Fourteenth, Will Lewis. Fifteenth, Pichu London. Sixteenth, Mary Shelley. Seventeenth, Brian James. Eighteenth, Henry Sanford. Nineteenth, Noah Hart. And Charles Sanford is twentieth. Few drivers pitted. See Sean Angel's back here. He uh, came down pit road. Pace car is back in. Man, I didn't realize the, the pace line was going to be so atrocious and slow here. They're finally back to green. Is James Shelley going to go for the lead? I really would expect it here. He's not happy about losing the lead in the first turn. Pole sitter. There's DeMarco. I'm going to look in the back here see if there's any wreck. No, it's clean. Clean and green. That's what I want to see. Oh, here comes Shelly, but I think he might have not picked a good spot. I think Sanford's at the preferred line into the bus stop. Oh, they touch! They touch! Oh, uh, if Shelly can hold on, he can get the lead, and he is there. I think he's got the lead, yes! Oh wait, but Sanford gets a run, they're still side by side! Who's going to come out on top? Ah, oh, Shelly runs wide and Sanford is going to hold on to the lead. Wow, what a battle for the lead! And we are still green! Shelly's still there! He might be able to give it another go here. He is really close to that five. Oh, caution's back out, but we're going to race it back to the line here. Looks like it happened on the front stretch. Coming down into the bus stop. Sanford's now, now being able to hold off that 24 car. I don't think Shelly's going to get it. Oh, Shelly runs wide and DeMarco is right there. As I said, Alex DeMarco, he started, he had a miserable start to the season, but he has been turning things, he's been starting to turn things around ever since. Really, ever since Texas, DeMarco started to turn things around. That's just going to be a pretty good season for him. Moving up and getting close to that top 20. Having another good run here at the Glen. Oh, he made contact with Shelly. He's going to try and take the lead, but nothing doing. Had a caution not come out, he probably would have gotten it into the, this first corner. Sanford leads us to the caution. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, here's a look at what happened. Sanoski is going to get a bump from Hayden Klein. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to get involved in another incident here. And Sanoski and Klein's going to get into the uh, 34 Jeffrey Finn guy who started last, and he's going to go into the wall. And that's his race over. That car is totaled. So that's a tough break for Finn Guy. Start again, start dead last. He's actually been having a pretty good season. But here's what I get. Further up the track, Megan Atkins gets into some problems here. She's been on a really ever since Ohio, she's been on a downward spiral. But watch this. Atkins is going to slide up into Tyler Young. Atkins is going to slide up in the championship contender, Tyler Young, and, oh my god, a huge crash for Atkins. She took a hard hit and just went flying into the air. It's really quite a, it's really not what I was expecting at all. Just 
look at this! You can see it's ripped apart. Man, we're gonna go on board of Batkins here. Wild ride for Atkins, let's get back to the green. We're going back to green on lap number 8 of 14 to our scout race with all the last incident are Megan Atkins, championship contender Tyler Young, and Jeffrey Finguy. Gene Sanford is the leader, second is James Shelley, third Alex DeMarco, fourth Sam Young, fifth Jasmine Acosta, sixth Finman J, seventh Dylan Young, eighth Leia Walker, ninth Tristan Wilhoyt, and tenth is Ryan Acosta. 11th is Skyla Johnson, 12th Mary Shelley, 13th Daniel Smith, 14th Henry Sanford, 15th Will Lewis, 16th Brian James, 17th Noah Hart, 18th Peach London, 19th James Silverfox, and 20th is Charles Sanford. Notice how the Honda of Will Lewis really stands out. It's quite something. But Tyler Young, championship contender, top five in points, going to take a hit here. But Taylor Cost is taking the biggest hit of all. I'm not. Uh, I'm wondering if she's gonna be able to hold on to the points lead. She had a little over 70 points of a lead, but she finished 40 seconds, so that still gives her a chance to lose. As the most points you can gain or lose is 148. That's the most points you can gain or lose in a single race. Costa only had a little over 70, so it's highly possible that she could lose the point lead. Meanwhile, Gene Sanford is still trying to hold off that 24. She would love to take the, take her first career win. She has never won an INRL race. Neither has James Shelley. Oh, Shelley's going for it again. Can he get a run in the bus stop? Oh, I think I touched again. Can Shelly make it work this time? He's gonna make it... He's trying it again! And he's got a good run, but Sanford's coming back! No! Shelly takes the lead! He's been trying all race, and he finally... And he's finally done it! James Shelly takes back the lead! That was a good pass! And the, green, and the caution is not out! And look who's closing in on San and look he's making a move on Sanford! Alex DeMarco! Looking he came so close to Texas, he really wants his first career win. He sh he should be able to be able to easily pass the five here in the first corner. Ah, actually I don't know. Sanford is fighting hard and Well we're gonna see here. Oh boy! Don't wreck it. DeMarco moves in the seconds, we got three wide! Jasmine Acosta trying to thread the needle and take third. As we got free wide in the bus stop. Oh, this, this is not going to end well. Free wide in the bus stop. Oh, look out. Oh, they made it work. Man, great racing out of Watkins Glen. Shelly's starting to pull away, but DeMarco is broken away from the field as well. Sam Young's in the third now, but Acosta is not done. A car is run off in the back. That's uh, that's one of the Sarah Fisher cars that ran off. DeMarco trying to close in. He's got five laps to do it, unless the caution comes out. Which is highly likely considering everything that's happened in this race. Oh, as soon as I say that, car's been, car's been spun around. Who was that? Well, it's the Kirby's around, but I don't think that was the one that caused a crash. Yes, that was Andrea Erickson. She got into Kyle Sanoski, and that's going to bring out a yellow. With only five laps left. I think we're only get, I think we're getting like a green-white checkered here or something. We're going to have a free or two lap, we're going to have a three lap shootout or a green-white checkered. DeMarco. 
gonna have a good shot at he's gonna have a good shot at this win, I think. Sanford's dropped a fifth now. Shelly leads us back to the caution flag. He is looking for that first career win. Andrea Erickson though. She was looking to uh she was looking to make up for her poor run at, at Russia. Not gonna happen. Erickson's involved in some problems in a wreck here on lap number 10. Let's take a look at what happened. In the first corner, Kyle Sanoski is going to get loose, and Andrea Erickson is going to get into him, and they're going to go into the tire wall, and, and both cars are going to have some heavy damage. Erickson's will be terminal. Richard Johnson slams into the four, and his day is done. Drake Bradley also slams into the, to him. Alyssa Kirby is involved in the 0-1. So there you go. A few cars taken out here on lap number 10. We're going to see how many laps we're going to have left. Let's get back to the green. Can James Shelley hold on and take the win? We just got a massive development here. Alex DeMarco has lost the engine under caution. He was in second place. But he is going out on lap number 12. We are just about to get going again. See the pace lights are off. And, it, and, for, and way in the back, Chris Darton has also lost an engine. But this is absolutely heartbreaking for DeMarco. This, man, this this kid just cannot catch a break. Oh, there he, oh, he just hit the curb. Oh, poor Alex DeMarco, man. He just cannot catch a break, it seems. I, re I really was thinking he was going to have a fantastic shot at this win, but that car is done. Oh, he just came to a stop. That's going to be the end of the race for him. But anyway, we're, we're going to have a green-white checker here. James Shelley is the leader. Second is Sam Young, now inherits second. Third is Jasmine Acosta. Fourth, Gene Sanford. Fifth, Inman J. Sixth, Dylan Young. Seventh, Tricky Will Hoyt. Eighth, Brian Acosta. Ninth, Skyla Johnson. And Daniel Smith is in tenth. 11th, Leah Walker, 12th, Henry Sandler, 13th, Mary Shelley, 14th, Will Lewis, 15th, Noah Hart, 16th, Brian James, 17th, James Silverfox, 18th, Zachary Robinson, 19th, Pichu London, and Ch Charles Sanford is 20th. Kyle Sinoski, Richard Johnson, Andrea Erickson, and Drake Bradley are all out of the race. I wonder if Sam Young's going to take advantage of this in order to take the victory. I don't, re I can't, I don't recall him winning a race this season. It could just be my it could just be my short-term memory at play, but I do not think that Sam Young's won a race. Wait, wait, uh Actually wait, no, I think Sam Young was actually last week's winner. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. But anyway, we're, we're gonna go back to green of two laps to go here. But I think Sam Young may be going for his second consecutive victory, actually. That's my short-term memory at play. But man, this could be this could be a pretty crazy finish here. With only two laps to go. Let's hope they can make it to the end. There's poor Alex DeMarco and Chris Dalton in the pit lane. Sam Young starting to lose some ground in that 22 24 car. And here comes Jasmine Acosta. Acosta starting to move herself into the fray. Is she looking for her sixth career win? She's already got the she's already got the all, most all-time wins in this series. Look, looking pretty tame right now, though. Sam Young trying to close in. Oh oh oh! Shelly's coming in! Oh no! It's just like it's just like the season one race. Drivers are coming in here, and Dylan Young takes the white flag! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Drivers are coming in on the last, coming in on a white flag! It's just like the Season 1 race.
But now Dylan Young inherits the lead. He just won the Retro Series race at Sonoma last week. Could Dylan get another win? Right across is up to fourth right now. This could be a huge points day for him. And Will Lewis, he's in seventh. How about that? Noah Hart's moved his way in the tenth. I see Robinson back there in eleventh. But here's Dylan Young. Can he make it to the end? Come toward the pit lane. Will he, will he make a move towards the pit lane? No, he won't. But someone is. That's Skylar Johnson. But it's a matter. It's a final corner. Dylan Young stretches his fuel to take the win in a wild round of Watkins Glen. Dylan Young. He is now. He has now won a race in all three series. How about that? He becomes only a he comes a second person he comes only a second person in history to win in all three series, joining the list occupied only previously by Aaron Williams. Second is Daniel Smith, third Leia Walker, fourth Ryan Acosta, big points day for him, fifth Mary Shelley, sixth Will Lewis in an absolutely fantastic run for the Honda, seventh Henry Sanford, eighth Brian James, ninth is Noah Hart, who's off the course now, and then 10th is Zachary Robinson. Great race here at Watkins Glen. Congratulations to Dylan Young. He makes history, becoming the second person in history to, uh, in, in, series his, in my series history, to win in all three series. That w That is his fourth INRL victory. Here comes results and stings. You can watch a production of the INRL, Racing Uncontained. See you next time.